What horror movie actors look like in real life? As we dive into horror films, it's not just the eerie sounds and special effects that frighten us. It's the terrifying beings on screen. Yet, beneath the grotesque makeup and chilling portrayals, these monstrous characters are often brought to life by ordinary people. Join us as we journey through 10 of the most striking transformations actors underwent in horror movies. How many of them would you recognize in real life? Number 10. The First Walker of the Walking Dead For those unfamiliar with the comics, the premiere of The Walking Dead in 2010 delivered a shocking introduction to the world of walkers. The first undead creature we encountered was portrayed by Addie Miller, a young actress whose chilling transformation captivated audiences. Fast forward 10 years and without the gruesome makeup, it's no surprise that she has blossomed into a successful international model. Number 9. Samara Morgan in The Ring The Ring was one of the most anticipated films of the year, featuring the iconic character Samara. Despite her terrifying presence, she has become one of the most beloved figures among horror genre fans. The first time we encountered Samara, she was portrayed by David Chase. In the sequel, the role was taken on by Kelly Stables, and for the third installment, actress Bonnie Morgan, an acrobat-turned-actress, brought Samara to life. Her background in acrobatics made portraying the character a seamless fit. Interestingly, Bonnie also performed the well scene in the second film, yet her name never appeared in the end credits. Number 8. Bill Skarsgård in Pennywise Pennywise, renowned for his chilling laughter and his sinister ability to reveal the deepest fears of his victims, bears little resemblance to the man behind the mask, Bill Skarsgård. This Swedish actor, who previously appeared in films like Divergent, rose to prominence for his haunting portrayal of the malevolent clown in It, 2017. Skarsgård immersed himself so deeply in the character that he elicited genuine tears from many of the child actors on set, embodying a terror that transcended the screen and left an indelible mark on his co-stars. Number 7. Javier Bote in Mama Actor Javier Bote is often referred to as the name of special effects, a title earned through his remarkable ability to inhabit roles that few others can tackle, thanks to his Marfan syndrome, a condition that influences the body structure. This extraordinary performer has brought to life a multitude of demons in chilling films such as Crimson Peak, The Other Side of the Door, and The Conjuring 2. His haunting presence extends to portraying a zombie in the Rec series, appearing in both Rec 2 and Rec 3, as well as embodying the spirit in the spine-tingling film Mama. So, the next time you delve into a horror movie, pay close attention to the monsters lurking in the shadows. Chances are, one of them is brought to life by the incredible Javier Bote. Number 6. John Carroll in American Horror Story John Carroll Lynch, best known for his unforgettable portrayal of the sinister clown in American Horror Story, began his career as a theater actor in 1990 before shifting to film. In addition to his iconic role, he has appeared in notable movies like Zodiac and Gothica. As the horrifying serial killer, Lynch transformed into a character who wore a mask almost as terrifying as his disfigured jaw, leaving an indelible mark on the landscape of horror. Number 5. Judith Roberts in Dead Silence Though Judith Roberts made her debut in David Lynch's 1977 film Eraserhead as Judith's lover, it wasn't until 2006 that she captured widespread attention for her haunting portrayal of Mary Shaw in Dead Silence. Since then, she has continued to leave her mark on the industry, showcasing her talent in various roles, including a memorable performance in the acclaimed Netflix series Orange is the New Black. Number 4. Finn Wittrock in American Horror Story Finn Wittrock gained popularity for his role as Damon Miller in the ABC soap opera All My Children. In 2014, he began performing in American Horror Story, where he portrayed characters like Jethro Polk, Dandy Mott, and Tristan Duffy. This handsome gentleman received a Primetime Emmy Award nomination for his performances. You would hardly recognize him in real life 
as he looks vastly different from Jethro Polk. His body is covered with scars and his face is partially disfigured. Playing Dandy Mott must not have been easy either. Although he may appear attractive, he is a monster on the inside. Number 3. Jared Leto in Suicide Squad Jared Leto, the renowned frontman of the band 30 Seconds to Mars, is not only a talented musician, but also a remarkable actor. He won an Oscar for his compelling performance in Dallas Buyers Club, where he starred alongside Matthew McConaughey. In 2016, Leto took on the iconic role of the Joker in Suicide Squad. Initially, comic book fans were perplexed by his portrayal, but many eventually embraced and enjoyed his unique interpretation of the character. Unfortunately, his role in the film was quite limited, yet all of these transformations showcase Leto's impressive versatility as an artist. Number 2. Ari Lehman The Friday the 13th franchise is iconic, even for those who don't typically watch horror films. Jason Voorhees, the infamous killer in a hockey mask, has been portrayed by many actors. When Sean Cunningham was casting for the original film, he offered Ari Lehman the role as soon as he walked into the audition room, saying, You're the right size. Lehman appears for only a few seconds in the original movie. In later films, Jason was portrayed by Tim Merkovich in Jason Takes Manhattan and Ken Kersinger in Freddy vs. Jason. Notably, Kane Hodder became the most recognized actor in the role. Stuntmen primarily filled the role as Jason's character demanded exceptional physicality over traditional acting skills. Number 1. Tom Woodruff Jr. in The Monster Pumpkinhead Tom Woodruff Jr. is a whirlwind force in the horror industry, skillfully crafting and embodying a range of nightmarish beings as a practical effects artist. Most famously, he designed and inhabited the Pina Xenomorph in Alien 3 and contributed to Starship Troopers. But it is the eternally creepy Pumpkinhead that solidifies his legacy. In his directorial debut, SFX legend Stan Winston brought Woodruff Jr. on as a lead designer for Pumpkinhead, fitting him into the suit to unleash vengeance on wrongdoers. Despite his impressive career, Woodruff Jr. is a down-to-earth guy, having acted in roughly 40 films and contributed to around 90 as an artist, bringing to life countless devilish creations that dominate the screen. If you enjoyed this video, please share your rating and favorite part in the comments. Before moving on to the next video, don't forget to leave a like, it really helps the channel. If you're new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss out.